movies and TV gradually replaced books. Not entirely, but if you ask an average person that you meet on the street, they will probably find it easier to tell you what was the last movie that they saw versus what was the last book that they read. And of course, movies are being reviewed, analyzed, essays done on them. I'm also guilty of partaking in this. But there's an interesting trend that I've noticed, a parallel with something that I witnessed firsthand when we were doing literary analyses at university. Now, I promise I won't bore you with my college experience, but I will use it to connect it to today's title. So there was this class that I had a couple of years ago, the poetry of the 20th century or something like that. There was this poem we were analyzing in class one day. Mind you, this was during the virus, so we're all on Zoom. So the poem is about a bird flying, looking down at the world below. We read it, we talked about it a bit. You know, it's a nice poem, it's about this majestic bird. We get the impression that the bird is king of the world, looking down on the countryside or the city or whatever it was. But the professor wasn't really getting what she wanted from us, it seemed. And so she goes, okay, does any of you maybe think that if we look deeper, we could kind of see the connections, how, you know, how this poem could be related to the bad things that happened in Germany during World War II, if you know what I mean. And okay, if you look at like that, so the bird was an eagle. So you have an eagle looking down at the world below it. The eagle is above the rest of the world. The time, I guess, when the poem was written is roughly coincides with all of that. But it's a stretch and we're not really convinced. We're kind of, we're not feeling it, our class. And there's this awkward silence until one of the students just goes so quietly. She says, but professor, it's just about a bird. And it was the most based comment ever. Sometimes, maybe. A simple analysis can be just as valid as some complex reading into it, right? You don't have to find a deeper meaning in every single thing. There tends to be this mentality that simple interpretations are bad and complex, intricate interpretations are better. This is, of course, not just the case in schools and colleges. Trying to elevate a text's worth by shoehorning in some depth or looking for depth that maybe isn't there or you have to really pick it apart to find fragments of, of depth. I mean, that's equally prevalent in the film industry at the end of the day. Barbie, for example, was interpreted into oblivion. I mean, it was dissected into more pieces than if Thanos was to snap his finger and shred the Barbie movie into a million flakes of dust. And you know how I feel about Barbie. I felt like it was trying to address some deeper topics, but it didn't really work because it was just too much of everything and they wanted to make it both fun and lighthearted as well as some addressing some complex topics. So then everything just felt underdeveloped. But my question is, like, why does a Barbie movie, a movie about a Barbie, have to be this message-packed film with deeper meaning and addressing societal issues of today? Why can't it be a simple comedy and why shouldn't that be enough? And especially with comedies, they will generally work best if they are straightforward movies with a fun plot. As soon as you start adding those deep layers, it becomes too much and nothing all at once and the tone is all over the place. But then we also have different kinds of films where there is perceived depth or people try to add depth or pretend that there is depth added when it's not that deep after all. Let's take the way The Rings of Power was promoted by the actors especially. And you know whose face I'm gonna show. Let's, let's put her here. Yes, here she is. Now, this lady, from the way she talks, you can tell that she has a background in theater. She seems eloquent and using all these big words that make it feel like what she's saying is grand and intellectual. But when you listen to those words, they end up meaning not a whole lot. 
This is necessary. This is a revolutionary moment within our time. It is so time for us to expand um, the accessibility and the opportunity. Now, now we see us, now we're here, we are heard, we are seen. To be the poster child of accessibility. This represents an acknowledgement of where we have been and um, a will to get to where we need to be. Uh, we don't change anything, but we interpret everything. And we are acknowledging, of course, all different shapes, sizes and worlds. It is everything, it is everything, it is everything to progress forward, to be part of a redress of balance within this world. And let's remember, their main selling pitch for the Rings of Power, or one of their big promotion points, was this is diversity, therefore it is progression, therefore it is good and high quality. We're addressing a popular activist topic of today, therefore our product has high artistic value because the more layers it has, the more complex that it is, the, the better it is, right? And another interesting thing is that I think that in schools, there is still a tendency to learn not so much about the average literary works and representatives of certain time periods. More commonly, it tends to be the revolutionary works, the people who stood out even in their time. A lot of literary works are subjects of interest specifically because they kind of go against the grain of what was typical at the time when they were written. And oftentimes it's works that talk about social issues because then of course you can connect them to the historical events at the time and why they are relevant, why they were relevant to then and why these works are relevant even now. This is just my speculation, but I think maybe this is where this idea comes from that if a book or a movie is highlighting a current social societal issue that this gives it a depth therefore it is more valuable therefore it is something better and again that's how a lot of corporations are trying to promote their movies their shows this is the new and improved disney princess this is the reimagined world of jrr tolkien this represents a diverse society therefore it is automatically praiseworthy but celebrating movie roles with complex adjectives that are actually meaningless and inserting into films currently popular activist themes is not enough to add value to them or lift them to this higher intellectual artistic plane what you've done is just so stunning and soulful and authentic and genuine and real and like totally Oof. you know reinvigorating what we get more often than not are just shallow praises empty words shallow lines and monologues posing as deep and insightful we have simplicity posing as complexity because that's what is apparently desired and makes you feel like you created something of higher artistic value. But sometimes the simple creation or interpretation is better and more grounded in facts than some quasi-intellectual reading between the lines, both when it comes to interpretation and creation. I mean, let's just look at remakes. They are probably the lowest form of creativity, yet we have progressive new ideas added, inserted into these stories, presented as something that is revolutionary and good by default and should not be criticized, even if it's at the expense of the story itself. It's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. It's Hollywood, baby. Even if I'm from the 1940s, I can look at an eagle and write a poem about it and not think about the Third Reich. I can just think that eagles are cool. I can still like movies like The Haunted Mansion, all while admitting that the premise and dialogue are simple, that it's a comedy, it entertains, with a simple message that the goodness and love will prevail. And that's its value. I don't have to reinvent and twist words just to find some extra meaning. Uh, we don't change anything, but we interpret everything. I can talk about how the Rings of Power is more representative and diverse, 
but claiming that this is something revolutionary or that the series artistic value is enhanced just because of it. That is simply pretentious. Thank you all so much for watching and for making it till the end. You get a cookie for sticking around this long. While you're here, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do leave me your comments down below. I always like to read them. So yeah, take care guys and I will see you in another video. Always right!